in 2004 or 2003. I don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> I just can't help you, man. <laughs> you can throw out as many years as you want, but the until great, I know the where great the great misunderstood Marcus Nispel. Made oh, yeah. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think it was 2003. That sounds It right. might be 2002. I don't know. Uh, made Texas Chainsaw Massacre and remake and reminded me that I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I have been buying Texas Chainsaw Massacre toys since. Welcome to Shock and Toy Reviews, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre review. Apparently, I wasn't the only one that saw this movie. Oh, no. I watched it. I loved it. I, I liked it way more than Texas Chainsaw 3D. Agreed. That was... Terrible. Oh, really bad. Anyway, nobody made figures of this version of Leatherface. And I have a bunch of horror guys and Ash from Army of Darkness and three and three quarter inch scale. This is three and three quarter inch scale, if you didn't know. Now you know. No one's half the battle. So I bought them because I liked high toys. Uh, Judge Dredd figures, quite a bit. And their Alien and Predator figures, quite a bit. And the Robocop figures, quite a bit. And I went, oh, they're doing Leatherface. Sold. What could go wrong? Well, a capital F U to High Toys. I'm raising my hand here. Could yes, sir. The, could one of the complaints be that his uh, apron or whatever it is doesn't fold around nicely connected to him? Well, sure, let's get there. <laughs> so he has shiny plastic syndrome, which kind of, I don't know, works for Leatherface or not. Um, by the way, I've seen three of these. They all have vastly different paint. Oh. So, Yikes. the quality control on Caligula might just be how High Toys does faces. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the first thing I noticed when I got him out of the box was I went, Wow, cool, you know, it's not that bad. Um, what? So his apron doesn't connect to anything, and then they just kind of sculpted it halfway on his torso. I didn't notice the string until just now. And they glued the tied part on his back. And from the front, it's not super noticeable, but as soon as you start turning him, and he's super articulated, so as soon as you start moving him, you notice that like that's not attached. Just don't give it to me then. Or something anything just the weirdest ass choice so that kind of annoyed me it's gonna let it go uh the fact that his apron is super gloss really annoyed me but i was gonna let it go what uh <clears throat> i want both of you guys to even peanut john if he's listening yep. what is one thing that leatherface or anyone with a chainsaw in a horror movie does? Breaths the chainsaw. Yeah. Holds the damn chainsaw with two hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, and every goddamn person on the planet has to know idle hands. Look at me, I'm Leatherface. Right? Yeah. Do you know what most high toys can do? Just, just take a guess. Hold the chainsaw with two hands. Swivel their goddamn arms. <laughs> do you know what is preserved beautifully? On both of these arms is that beautiful sculpt. Because you can't not put a swivel. So so the first thing I did after getting by there is I pulled his chainsaw out. And I went, I'm going to recreate the classic leather face pose of let me do my chain. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. And then you're going to go, hey, dude. He doesn't have his holding hands on. So I took off these little hands. And I sticked on, stuck on, stuck on. These super tiny, crazy small hands that feel super small even for a three and three quarter inch guy. Like, I don't know. It does seem small. And before that, Wilson pointed out that like, hey, there's extra stuff in there. Uh, we'll see if it even will go on the peg. Kind of, sort of. So anyway, if you magically get this hand to hold it, there is no way for him to come close to getting this. He doesn't have butterfly joints, doesn't have swivel arm, but he has triple elbows. Huh. So 
he can recreate that silhouette from the movie. He can't do this picture of the... Oh, wait, they didn't show me a picture. And if you look, there's enough dark right around where the swivel would be that if you looked at it, you go, oh, yeah, that's swivel. Well, that's just fucking the sculpt and a shadow. They tricked me. They tricked me. I goddamn fucking supported you guys. 20 blocks down the train. But he can't. He cannot hold his fucking chainsaw in two hands. That looks good. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> he also comes with uh, a nice wood floor peg and he comes with the two H attachments so you can attach these to your Judge Dredd or whoever other Hyatt toy guys if you continue to abuse yourself and go man I have like six more Judge Dredd guys on order I hope they all don't suck now because Caligula had a terrible face paint mm -hmm. uh, Mean Machine was awesome we didn't review him I don't think nope um but this is just, this is, this is an egregious, egregious, egregious thing. Yeah, that's bad. Um, I can't even get his hands open to hold the fucking chainsaw. So, um, yeah. Another don't get this toy. Uh, they're doing a bloody variant which ships next week. You didn't buy that one, did you? No. Okay. No. But, uh, I'm crazy disappointed and angered. That Understandably. Doesn't, that doesn't come through. Because if there's one pose I want leather face, chainsaw, crazy nut job to do. Hold the chainsaw. Hold his chain. McFarlane just... did it with a statue with four points of articulation. <laughs> In 1998, nine, whenever. I didn't notice in the movie, but I like it that he has one boot over the sh the pants and one under the pants. Very nice detail. Nice. Fuck off. Also, this is green. I did not notice that in the movie. It's well sculpted and painted, so it's a nice chainsaw accessory. Yeah, it is pretty nice. It's got very nice teeth. Uh, also, the blood splatter on all the ones is the same, but they're all slightly different, so I don't know like, if they hand paint them or what, but yeah, it's got all the good stuff and bits. It looks nice. Can't hold it. Figure sucks, then. <sighs> don't buy this toy, but thanks for watching this review. If you did, if you skip to the end, hey, why'd you skip? Don't look at him, he's not Leatherface. <laughs>